What's up fellow fantasy loving friends? This is Josh from RSMP Tabletop and I'm beyond excited because today's video is sponsored by Off The Wall Games in Hadley, Massachusetts. They have a Necromunda League going on and they asked me to be a part of it. So I chose Gang Escher from House of Blades. And as you can see, I've built them and I've primed them in a Zenithal Prime. I'm actually getting ready to head down to Off The Wall today for my first ever game. My opponent who challenged me, his name is Bo. So I hope he enjoys playing with a complete new player who pretty much knows nothing about the game. So without further ado, let's head on over and see how my first game of Necromunda ever went. I mean, I can bring, I actually, it does well, I actually got my ability to bring nothing but infantry because you're maxed out at 12 troops. Yeah, max it. Wow! And what what about? <laughs> Alright, mine's kind of silly, but uh, I have to plant. Oh, that's a good point. So, I, I'm really excited. Arts of Omen is actually really restrictive for my. <laughs> okay, I have to pick three so, terrain pieces really and hack them. For, uh, <laughs> let's do uh, one, two, three. And if I hack them, yeah, I can draw a card. Like, I'll probably never have to do it. So. Okay, I have a show of force. Sometimes winning's not enough, and I mean, a rally drive home the dominance of a house. Its enemies need to be utterly crushed. At the end of the game, if there are at least five enemy fighters out of action, not counting yeah, those that have fled the battlefield, yeah. reveal this card and gain a D3 plus one reputation to your gang. That's, so that's that good. could be good, that right? That could be yep. very good, yeah. Reps very good. Okay, so just write down that so you make sure you have it. Yeah, I wrote show of force here. Cool. You can just keep it over there. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind, I'll slide yeah, this right here. Yeah. Um, and I won't, like I said, I probably won't. Like Okay, uh, and we gotta do House uh, Rivers, which are here. Again, I brought the yeah. generic oh, one, so we can both just roll on this table. Yeah. It's a 2d6. My, my agenda's all. Oh! Right. Yep. So I got three, so I don't get anything. <laughs> you got nine. Well, actually, I got three, um, and there's one person higher than us, so that'd be four. Still nothing. And you get five. Well, doesn't matter. You don't get a The way this works is. Um, this is the Look at all friend, the people really in the really campaign, mm -hmm. and forever, however many so people are higher rated than you, you get plus one, and so you, you can go up to plus three. So right now it's just plus one. So you have a ten. And this was uh, so you get new blood. So uh, you basically get a free juvie. Oh, yeah. No equipment or anything, but you get a free juvie for this game or for next game. You could use it now if you need it. Yes. But okay. if, if it's easier to use it later, just yeah, I'll use it later. Yeah. So when you go on, you'll just add, and when you go on the Act Tribe, um, it'll ask to pay for it. You just say no. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. So that's yeah. just a little thing. Very cool. So that's done. Awesome. Ten fighters. If you have ten fighters. No, I only brought eight. Okay, and I have seven. So <laughs> those will be our maxes. So we have eight, you said? Yes. And I have seven. So these will be our amounts for bottling out. You know about that? It was explained briefly, but again, if you could just touch on it when yes. we get there. So at, at the end of every um, turn, you have to basically every, roll, right? Yep. If there's somebody in your, your area, and then there's something within three inches, or if you run, the other people around you oh, automatically okay. pass got, their check, right? If one person right. runs, there's a whole there's like whole, a whole bunch of but the main the main thing in the end phase at the end of the turn, if you've had a fighter that became seriously injured or went out of action, or if you just have a fighter out of action, you have to roll a lot of tests, and you you roll and you add that number of the number of fighters out to your and if it exceeds your starting number, so that you need to get a nine to bottle up. Yep. Then what happens so, is you then have to cool check each fighter. Yep. But anyone within oh, oh, 12 wait, inches of a leader goes, right? can use the leader's yeah, cool, and anyone do? within six yeah, inches of a uh, champion can use their cool. Oh, okay. so, so towards the end of the game, it's, it's important to kind of keep group fighters near them. Because let's say if they go down or for like being broken or something, they can still use the leader's cool for that. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Of, probably a lot of mumbo. And that's it. We're just going to play. Now we're just playing standoff. I'll go through that when you reflect. Because they're the, they're the goat. Thank you. So oh just God, custom time, like I said, we took two oh tactics cards, we did that. So deployment is going to be 12 inches from the center line of this. Um, okay. I who rolled. I did not know that. That doesn't matter. I'll say I'm the attacker, or I am the attacker because I challenge you. So um, football wins the game. They choose deployment oh, yeah, zones. Um, you just be on that side. I'll be on this side. Over. Sounds perfect. Uh, and then it says deploy model starting with attackers. So I, I start. So now we're just going to deploy back and forth until we're out. Sounds good. And then, like I said, um, real quick standoff. The only objective in this is just get points for who you kill. Mm -hmm. So three points for a leader, two points for a champ, one point for another model. 
Okay. And if a fighter leaves the battlefield for any reason, like they run away, or let's say um, they bleed out on their turn or something, that is not counted as a kill for the other team. Oh, okay. So that's important. Okay. But it will count towards your bottom line. Gotcha. Because um, it says mumbo jumbo. Yeah, the dog cost time. I don't see the dog on here. And no, that's it. So we're able to start placing our guys. So 12 so inches from the center, just roughly whatever, puts me anywhere on this back line. And then obviously the tape, we got six inches here. No, no, you can see the edge of it. Yep. So that's it. In place. We get going. I'm a noob, so I'm going to play conservative. I'm going to be yes. honest. <laughs> and, I have, and, I, and I want, this is important for you to know. So I have one guy with infiltrate, which means after we've both placed, I can then place him anywhere on the map. He, has, he can't be in line of sight of one of your fighters, and he has to be at least six inches away. So stupidly, when you play someone with Infiltrate, you're going to want to actually place your fighters because they're arc of vision. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you're placing so I can't really put my guy near you. Okay. And he has a, just laying out, he has a blasting charge. A grenade. Okay. So that's his thing. He like infiltrates, blows guys up. Maybe not. So when you're placing, just think about that because I don't want you to get totally screwed by that. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to, to always check if they have an Infiltrate fighter and, and look for that. Um, I'm just going to place... I guess I'll just place this guy over right over there. Boom. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to place Explain why I don't typically see them then. Or over here. Yeah, so that's fine. Just um, So the board edge is actually here. Oh, okay. So I didn't put anything. Oh, I got you. Okay. This so we like start from here. For, I got it. Yeah, so yep. the, it's a 36 inch board. This is like 42 or something. So six inches. No worries at all. Perfect. Yep. Yep. So that's good. Uh, just made it in. Some of them turned into cereal. These. These guys. I guess I got to I don't have any leadership. Goodbye. What's your leadership on those guys for? I don't have any leadership. Goodbye. How could you? No, it's not. I refuse to believe it's just five. It's fine. I'm only five points off from the dog, and there's no good to see. Alright, so dog. 65, 65, 65. Oh, you're bunching up heavy. Yeah, bunching up. Uh, I, don't, I don't know a lot of the strategies yet, so I'm trying to figure it out, you know? <laughs> yeah, I just... But I don't like... Here's the thing. The beginning's usually okay, unless, like, said they have maybe some infiltrate or, like, a really long-range weapon, you know? Yup. So, um... No, they're in there. He reopens the door. Reduce it. One echo charge. You're gonna use it to replenish. You're, you're, yeah, so you're gonna use it to replenish the one conscript that, that died, or they're gonna they're so, uh, like I'll activate it, and it'll deal one more wound to each of the units. That's it. All right, so won't be that bad. Where is the echo slot? I'm gonna grab the seven. I'm gonna grab the seven. Yeah, you all want to grab one. There's enough in there that everyone's got it. It's dense. Basically, right next to him. Okay. I'm going to double these ones up, kind of similar concept. Yeah, that's here. I, I made sure that and everyone then would be able to go on my last fighter right here. And then you can place the rest of your fighters, and I'll do my infiltrate. Okay. Right, so I got to log into So I'll just remember for line of sight. Yeah, we got to Likely I get somebody, but. I'll give you. Am I able to start on top lake up here? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. Um, do you want tokens for your fighters? Uh, yeah, if you have them, I'll use them for sure. Thank you. Yeah, people either put them on the cards or on the fighter. And, and that's for activation, right? Just so you remember who you move. It just helps. Yeah, it just makes it so easy to remember. Like, the game is really so simple once you learn. That's exactly, yeah. It's just these cards, these dice, and these, like, some tokens, and that's all you need. And a piece of paper if you want, you know? Yep. And that's it. And that's what I love about it. it you know, it, it's very overwhelming. But just it's to not to it too overcomplicated. It's realistic. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm gonna put her here. Hope for the best. Let's hope her infiltrate's not not too devastating. <laughs> Realistically, like I don't think I do much until turn three, anyways. By my book. All right, let's put the infiltrate in. Let me grab my. Can you just there for a second? No, no, we're good. Should I do? That's your fault. I'm just trying to. That's that. I'm gonna do my I've got some pretty good um, pictures of the portrait. Yeah, I just went into portrait mode and cranked up the exposure so I can get more. That's actually on my survey. So I'm oh. gonna be putting out a survey for um, 
All right, uh, uh, infiltrate. Crusade, yeah. look and see. And one of, two of the questions are going to be for the store, which is how is your experience? So just help me out and show me. I know the death maid. Yeah, yeah, death maid. Uh, you're just. I just want to know your your two like, yeah. yeah. yep. So I got a champ here. Yep. Like, yeah. And the other champ with the sword. So this one here. Okay. All right. Um, but what if it's a uh, USB power okay. LED strip? LED strips. We still have to get power to it. There's no power where those TVs are. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I'm just gonna go here. Uh-huh, that's the better oh, oh, yeah. I just sit over back there. Yeah. Uh, so, that's gonna be that. Um, Good luck. We're yeah, you too. Priority. Absolutely. Yeah, like I said, we'll go through a slot. So I just roll to see who takes priority for the round. I got a four. Five. That's you, awesome. Hey, money. So now you typically would add all your um, your tokens to your fighters. So either again, either on their card or on the board. And then, uh, what do you find easier? Do you do it on the board or probably on the board? Right? I think the board is easier unless it's like a real tight board. But yeah. other than that, uh, we got space. Hell, like, yeah. That's the problem. That's what I do. Because like, once problem. you get into a game, sometimes it's, it, sometimes that's the games can go problem. several rounds. You know? yeah. That's that's awesome. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. And you know that in Necromunda there's no measuring? Until no pre-measuring, yes. Yeah. So you so can come we'll up short. Play that you, because you're new. you still have to shoot your shot regardless, but yeah. it just, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. done it to come back from 40k to this. So, but, so. Well, again, I don't have 40k background, so hopefully that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So it might even be better for you. Yeah, we call that probably partial cover. Perfect. And uh, that's a last gun, probably. It, it, so you're, you're plus one within 18. Yep. We both know you don't need to measure that. That's within 18. Okay, fair enough. So you, so you can actually. Uh, so you're going to activate that fighter and then just turn because you, you get to turn towards where you're shooting if you need to because that's important sometimes. Okay. So then just turn towards her and let it rip. So turn would be my light action. I get two light action. No, it's not an action. So like um, when you make the action to shoot, you're allowed to turn and face. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's only important because like we'll say Goliaths have, uh, I have an arc. If I'm not in my arc, my armor goes down. Mm -hmm. So there's certain things there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, you can, uh, so now you've, you can actually aim and shoot, or you can shoot once and move. This is what you could do. But you're already, right now, you don't really need to aim because you're already getting the plus one. Yeah. Or it's up to you. That put you to a three, or if you aim, you go down to a two up. I can shoot first, and then I can decide if I want to move after the result. Yeah, because shooting is just an action, but aiming is a double action. Perfect. Then yeah. I'm going to try to shoot first, and then I'll see what happens. Absolutely. So there you go. So you use one action to shoot. Okay, so my Lao's gun, it's a strength of three. Yep, so, so you, yep, you just actually go, first you do your weapon skill. So, so my weapon skill is... Is uh, four plus right? So and that's adjusted because she gets. Um, well, actually, it's it's plus one because the las guns within short range, but I'm also getting plus one for cover, so it negates itself. So it'll be a four up. Oh, gotcha. Just a regular and shot. just a regular D6. Yep. That's not good. Yeah, that's a miss. <laughs> and then you'd also roll just for uh, oh, uh, the, reload now, right? The ammo. Yes. 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 Uh, this one here. Which on a last gun, it's plentiful, so it'll always reload. Okay, so I did perfect. You're fine. But that's it. So that's how it goes. So you, you missed the shot, but yep. now you could also move with her if you would like. Yeah, so now if I just move her under here, that makes her out of line of sight for you, I'm guessing, and you'd have to move to get it to okay. It would, but I'm t don't, I don't recommend that because yeah. you're going to go. He doesn't have a gun. Uh, okay. He has a grenade and a fighting weapon. Oh, I see. So okay. I. I'm, again, I'm not. I, I don't. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna try to move her away. Hopefully, yes. that way you take longer yeah, to close yeah. the distance. Exactly. In so. this situation, if you think someone might be able to charge you, move farther away. If you have a gun, just so you can kind of get them out of range. Because the, the beautiful thing in this game is when you charge. It's crazy, man. If you don't come into base to face contact with with your charge number, then you stay where you are. So if I miss this and I'm right here, yep. you get to shoot it. Perfect. So I am just gonna skedaddle her as far away. Can I borrow your tape? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so she can move uh, five inches. Yep. Now, is it from the back of the base or the front of the base, or do you go center, or how do you... Just from whatever direction you're going, I think is what people do. Right. So, so I mean, use the back of the base. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess we, would we agree that, like, five is close yeah, to Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. There That's you go. it. Thank you. Activation done. Perfect. And then, it'll be my turn. Yep. I'm going to activate, uh... Are you, are you chucking a grenade? I'm going to do the grenade, yeah. <laughs> it's like his thing, so... So, I'm going to activate Kragos over here. Um, he has a grenade. Um, and he also has an ability called Stim Implant, which um, I get to juice my strength by two for the round. But then at the end, in the end phase, I roll a d6, and I believe on a one, he takes an injury. Okay. Okay. So he's up to strength five. 
Uh, that matters because um, grenades range is measured by your strength. Mm -hmm. So strength times two, five times two would be ten inches. Okay. So now I can measure because I've called the shot. Yeah, and they're well within ten inches. Yeah. You can pretty much hit everybody. Yeah. You know, I'm basically he's just gonna toss it right in the center. Yep. So we'll see what happens. And he's gonna. I just need one bad roll and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna aim and shoot that grenade. Yep. So his uh, <clears throat> uh, ballistic skill four goes down to a three. So I'm looking for a three up. Five, it got hits, it. Uh, nine. Uh, the other thing is grenades always go out of ammo. Well, that's Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah. I gotta roll the ammo check for the grenade. Uh, I a five, so I actually reload the grenade, which is crazy. Uh, so now we're gonna move to the grenade step, which is a whole bunch of steps. So it landed here. Uh, it hit both of them, so they both be pinned. Yeah, there you go. That's the guy you want. That's the neighbor you want. Just pin them both to start. Just because we're doing everything sequence. Now I'll start with this fighter. Yeah, so when the blast in the center, so um, she'll blast probably this way, this one will go this way. So I'm checking for knockback. When you have a blast weapon, you need to roll on another D6 and roll against their um, strength. So they're a strength three, mm -hmm. so I need to roll a three up. Two. Nothing. So I'm going to roll the knockback on the other fighter. Four. Yes. So, so knockback here, but not here? Not here, but here. I'd say that's you know, it's an inch, so she hits the wall, so now that damage will be upped by one, okay. if it goes through. So now we're going to start with the other fighter. This is to see if I wound it. So this is a strength five weapon, uh, toughness three fighter, so that's going to be a three up roll. Okay, my champion here does have mesh armor, however. Okay, yeah, we're just rolling um, to wound first. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Yep. So this is a three up? Yeah, I didn't know if it mattered beforehand, I just figured it out. Oh, we're, no, absolutely. Any questions, ask me. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to roll the hit there on a three up, so that hits. So this Five is going to be, yeah, so now we go to um, the save roll. So this is an AP1. So she had a mesh armor, which is a five up, then moves to a six up. So now you roll a six up armor save. Five. Okay, so she takes the damage. Uh, she has one wound, mm -hmm. and it's a two damage weapon. So first, I would roll one injury to take her to zero wounds, and I'll roll another injury for an additional wound. Okay. People who like me. Panicking. So she's dead. Uh, who moved out to the sticks? We now have a two and a half hour commute. So she dies, and now <laughs> this is for lasting injuries. So you got me near an airport. That's uh. Miters, uh when I go work for Miter, there's still a What's that? Just a um, good shot. Thank you. That's just a. Really Let's keep track of it. Um, this was. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, that was a. That was a tough one to pull that, off. That was Nora. You, you so just like, blew, okay. Yeah, you just blew Nora right off the. Nora. The, the, uh, yeah. uh, so this is for her lasting injury. So the first number will be orange. Second number is purple. Lab. It's like maybe like five or okay, six so that's not good. So that's a critical injury. I walk in on a Friday. Unfortunately, I literally. Sorry about that. I'm not afraid to blast. So at the end of the battle, you're gonna have to see the rogue doc to try and save her, basically. Yeah. If you don't, she dies permanently. Okay. Sorry about that. No worries, man. That's part of the game. Part of the game is. I like the lore though. That's it's good. It's good. And then uh, since this is standoff, I, I get one point for that. Yep. So we also have to do. I mean, uh, uh, we have to finish here, but she's also going to have to take a nerve test now because that fighter became seriously injured within three inches of it. Mm -hmm. so, tons of overlapping rules. Nice. So we're going to go back to the grenade on her for the wound roll, which is a three up. Sticks. Now she had mesh armor as well. Uh, no, not that one. No, what is she? She has nothing. Nothing. Okay, so that's going to just be straight two. So that's good. So she is gets one flesh wound. Yes. Throw that on her, and then she's seriously injured. So just turn her face down. And what's her name? And this was uh, very, very. So we're just gonna keep track of that. It's usually the only thing I write down. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This was Vera here. That was okay. the one I had activated. So she's got the stiletto uh, knife. So Natasha. I'm sorry. That was Natasha. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's just to keep track. Yep. Sorry about that. Yep. So Natasha's has one damage. Uh, she just has one flesh and one she's flesh. seriously injured. Oh, we'll deal, um, deal with that. Yep. Basically. Um, so you basically just need to log in. Then you're supposed to roll a nerve test for her. Okay. So you roll uh, one, one d6. Uh, 2d6 against her core. Okay. Uh, so turkey. CL. Yep. Seven plus. Yep. 
Nine? So, she's so she doesn't break from the other fighter dying in front of her. Okay. Oh, so that's how that works. Good. <laughs> yeah. If you slow this game down and you think about what happens, it's very cool. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was it. Well, that's what they said. It's like this entire battle is taking place in like a minute or two, right? Like that's the whole thing. It's a yeah, fast. It's like person. a little game. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I like, like if you slow it down, it's like all oh, the stuff. Um, so that's it. I'm done there. Okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> and back to you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So a seriously injured fighter can only so crawl on with the action, which is like yeah, half the distance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, you probably don't want to do much more with her. You don't have to add up. Scroll to the bottom of the table. No. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm going to kind of let her stay there for now. Absolutely. And I'm going to... It's still, even Let's if it's see. even if it's on your order back. I'm just gonna move slingshot. I can go five inches oh, with her. Okay. okay. Borrow this one. Yep. Okay, it looks like I can just come like right to the end of here if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. So you're starting with zero I think people are very loose about the movement. Um, yeah. So, you know, well, again, like once it's predetermined, we both know what it yeah. is, right? So. Yeah, I want you to get there. 50% of their seat. Okay, and that was Natasha activated. Oh, so she only moved once? She can move again if you'd like, so she has two activations. Yeah, so what is, if I dash, that's you. That's just one activation, but then yeah. you have to get to the base to somebody? Just everything, all the actions in the game are called uh, simple and basic. Um, simple simple actions take one action, basic take two. Okay. You get two per turn. So like shoot is a, is a, a, a basic... Um, Charging, I, I, did, did no. we uh, okay, yeah. movement, taking, um, standing up is a simple act. Uh, yeah. okay. you know, I'm not telling you to. No, yeah, I'm not I telling you to. That's probably good to be in cover. Yeah, I, I'm gonna yeah. stay right there for now just to, to hang out, uh, and, and I'll see what you do now. <laughs> I'm trying not to. <laughs> no, man, tell you what to do. There is, there, this is a learning series. I'm here to have fun, so there's no worries. I'm trying my best. I hope you're having a good time. I'm sorry, get in there. Kind of sucks sometimes, yeah. Uh, decisions to make. No, you don't have it. Uh, no, because you're starting with zero. No, but that means... The I'm going to just move this guy. It's going to be four, and then I'm going to move oh, another four. Yeah, you still get your two for one. So, up. So, uh, so, yeah, but then you went chapter four. Oh, I should have mentioned this before. And then over one. That, the, the, over one, yeah. The, if you're on a pipe or a ladder, it's half the distance. Or we're playing three-inch terrain, right? So it's three inches vertical. But yeah. I was just going to say, that basically everyone in the league, no, just, any pipe, just, any edge, or any ladder, your guy can climb and no penalty. But if it's at the beginning of... Um, like a face without a pipe, mm -hmm. then it's so double the movement to move up. Gotcha. Yeah. So even the edge of the building, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah absolutely. So like okay. everyone plays a real loose. Like you got to get down and just go down the thing. Oh, I like that. Okay. But if, you know, I don't, I don't know if you know about um, um, if, if you become pinned near an edge with one inch of an edge, and you could fall off you could and take it. Yes. Yeah. All right. This is awesome. This is activated there, and that's it. That's it. Let's see. I think that's a question that we need to clarify. CP regenerates every command phase. Okay. And so you you get I think that's the only way we can play it. Which means so I'm going to double my. I'm yeah. Is there a tape here I can just no, buy? No, in the middle. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. No. I'm just it's gonna. Fine. I'm gonna double move her here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep her in cover. Yeah. It should be less than ten inches, but I just, yeah. So we're at eight. So we're more than good here. So I can think of a lot. Perfect. I can go six. Here we go. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go. All right. I don't recommend it. It's complicated. Knowing what you're doing is highly Each player should roll a single D6 using attacker defender bonuses. I guess I'm going to just activate. I got five things to suck. Wound. Four. Alright, so I'm going to be real surprised in a second. Oh, wow. I like that. Decisions. Alright. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, he's going to activate Kaz over here. He's going to go. Same thing. He's going to go four. Yeah. Gets him there. Uh, this time, he needs the three to go up, and the one is actually off, so he's going to be on the edge. No, I'm fine. So, living on the edge there. So that's his double movement. I'm done. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question here, because line of sight through here, if I move her over here, can I take a shot at that guy there? Because I have a 24-inch range with her weapon. As long as you can see him, sure. Okay, so yeah. then I'm going to activate here, my first action, I'm just going to, that's well within five, we agree, right? What's that? Right. You, uh, she was right here, so that's well within oh, five inches. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. And then uh, my second action, I'd like to take a shot right here. 
Oh, I'll well, use the. Um, sorry, I yeah. thought you so meant like, approaching this way, Mike. Adam. So the bolt gun gives uh, me 25. Try a minus okay. one okay. for partial, and you got the bolt gun. Yeah. Perfect. Which obviously, that hits. I keep putting this over here. I'm sorry. So oh yeah, no worries. Uh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. You're well within 24 with the bolt gun. Perfect. All right. Um, and then. Oh. So this is Jessica that I'm right. activating. Just Jessica. So you know. okay. Yep. So you will be just at minus one your uh, ballistic skill. Okay. All right, so we did that. So she also. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. Awesome. Uh, and that's just a regular one d six, right? Yep. So you're gonna be looking for a four up, except for the first. You know? Oh shit! <laughs> By right. luck, today. it's okay. Trust me. Number one thing about Necromunda, you're gonna roll. Turn a lot on a dime, though, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of ones. All right, so now I roll just ammo yeah. check. Yep. Okay, so that kind of sucks, but now you gotta look um, for under the ammo column and try and roll that. So uh, in here. Uh, no, nope, it's right on your sheet. Who was it? Oh. Um, so yep. the, go, go to your combi, and it looks like a six up. Six up. Oh, so, yep. oh, so I have to roll a six or doesn't So you get a free chance to reload immediately every time, and then after that, if you don't, you'll have to use an action to reload. Oh, okay, that's yeah. not horrible. And I can roll one now? Yeah, roll it right so now. Yeah. Two defenders, two deploys. So, right, so now Terrible. she'll take a token. <laughs> and the way we're working this is um, if you have a multi profile weapon and you run out of ammo on one, you can still use the yellow. Really oh, okay. Does that make sense? So, yeah, this yeah. is uh, what? Well, it's a combi, so I, you were saying I can right. use a needler. So, right like now, without reloading, you can still use the combi needler. But if you want to try and reload, you take one action again, try and roll a six up. Perfect. All right. Uh, she took a shot. That's that. Who else do I got? Hey, all right, who's attacker and who's defender? Oh boy. Keeping in mind that there's territory there. All right, I'm going to activate this guy. And Orc. He's that's it. That's, that's really the only thing that attacker can attack, 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 attack. go first. No. Realistically, the previous roll kind of gave me the same rules. We then roll off another time for first turn. All right, all right. So he's done. No, no, no. He'll be the defender. Okay. So I guess that's all that really matters. The attacker doesn't. Now, she's face down, but can one of my actions yeah. be to stand on her or no, because she's face down? Yes, yeah, no, it's only if she's on the attacker. Yeah, so she's seriously injured, so the only action they can make is to me as the attacker. So, and so she can cross twice, though. Clockwise. Yeah, half okay. Half half. Okay. So she's got a movement of five, so two and a half. So you could either crawl her for two and a half, or you could crawl her for five. I'm going to shift your drink. Well, and, it, and when I... I tend to use those fighters as like if I need to like burn a turn, you know, to like wait to see where they're gonna move or something, or like yeah. if I need to get them in a safe area, you know, because you can still shoot at down fighters. Okay. Um, but they have to be completely in view, and they have to be the only target. Okay. Well, I'm fairly happy with where she is in cover, especially this guy here. So I'm going to activate here, and we're just going to move. I'll do a, a double move and try to get into this corner. So. Oh, another thing, too. If you have a fighter within one inch of another fighter who's seriously injured, when they roll their recovery, they can roll an extra dice. It's called assistance. Perfect. This is like 10 bucks on that. So. This is like 10 bucks. It's an important way to get some fighters up. Perfect. Um, All right. Um, yep. All right. Gonna activate this guy. It's gonna move four. Oh boy. Four and four. So he's gonna go four, and he's just gonna go three to the end of the building. Gonna play it safe over here. There you go, buddy. All right, back to you. Okay. Hmm. So I've got two more activations. Okay. Total, so I'm just trying to see here. Um, I guess I'm going to move my death maiden. Let's activate her. Let's get her doing something. So she can move six inches, so I can get a total of 12. You can. Oh, what? She's got a big yeah. Okay, so what I want to try to do is I'm going to see my first six here. Yep. So I guess... All of his three arms. So I kick bash him into a... Uh, I can get to the pipe on six inches? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that, I think when you have Plus that tape's not bending, you know, so bending 100%. So we're still off the room. And then, um... So I can go three and then another three when I get to the top of here. So I just okay. want to try to just park her right here. Is that yeah, the reason you can do with these 20 corners? Okay. That's how you do it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make sure that her line of sight is pointed over at you. Okay. Just, just in case. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Awesome. And uh, that'll be my activation for my death maiden. All right. I'm going to do Xandor. I'm just going to move. Just double act. Double move. It's just going to move eight. He's coming up. Coming over with his buddy. He's just sitting there. Back to you. Okay. Um, 
do okay, that. Okay, I've got only one person left to activate, and I'm just honestly going to let her stay there because there's no point in doing anything, right? Or I get to... Do I get to roll her truck to get her back up? Or not yet, not till then. No, okay, yep. yep. Um, so you're activated out? Yep, that's okay. it for me. All right. Um, I got my leader left. I'm gonna move him four. Yeah. He's gonna do the same thing. He's just gonna park. They're just gonna take them off the edge. Right. So, so Jay was like, if you make it so that you can just remove models to the point where no one's gonna do it. So he's gonna park right on the edge. Because that's it. So the round ends. Yep. So now, um, first thing you do is your bottle check. Uh, you have an out of action fighter. She just rolled d6. You can't fail it right now, but so for example, I just rolled a five plus one out. That's six versus. I need eight. nine to get out, right? Oh yeah. You're good. I don't have anybody out. I don't need to roll. Next, we move to uh, broken fighters. Don't have any, but that would be a two d6 roll to see if they're just back back in action. And then now we move to recovery. So anyone who's seriously injured, you make recovery rolls. Okay. You have a fighter for assistance. Uh, they have to be standing and active, or standing. So you said that gives you two d6s yeah. on that? Nope, so now you're going to roll two of the, the injury dice. Oh, okay. Yep, and you're going to see if you can recover her. And you get to pick which one you want. So you don't want the dead, Nope. so you keep the seriously injured, unfortunately. So she just stays where she is? She just stays where she is. Okay, that's it. And then we pass back to priority. So we're going to roll a d6 again and see who goes. That's a six. Please say a six. So the way that goes is the person who didn't go last time goes. So I get it this time. Perfect, yeah, yeah. But if we match it again next time, like you would get gotcha. it. Gotcha. So yep. Yeah, so I activate first, so now we put all our tokens back on. We're done. And do this thing. All right. Um, Maybe play like dumb match play games. I, I, I want to do um, sporting actions. All right, so I guess. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? I did not roll a d6 for my um, my fighter there. Okay, here we go. Some implants. These are teleportation. So the last. Okay, I'm I'm actually fine. It says um, on a roll of four up, they suffer a flesh wound. So I'm actually safe there. So I'm gonna write that down some more. Four up, flesh, stem implant. So I got two of those. All right. Um, and then every turn. All right, my turn to activate. So he's got another grenade because you reloaded it, right? He does. So yeah. he's probably gonna whip that. This is gonna be a quick game. <laughs> I mean, that's that's like okay. pure luck. Yeah. No, it's good though. It's good. That's what I like about it. That's what I like about it. So first thing I'm gonna do is just chuck that grenade yep. again. Yep. Uh, Stim implant, same thing. I'm within the range, so we're just gonna roll it. Um, I took a gamble trying to get him off. You know, I had. <laughs> and I guess I'll, I'll aim and shoot it again. Just, just if you want to play in the next because. Um, so I'm looking for four up down to a three up. Five Sticks. Um, now we need to well, do knock back. back. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. we'll do the one on the left first. Three. So knock back just an inch that way. And she falls over. Yes. And then the other one, no knock. So now we're gonna roll for the knock back um, damage. It's strength five again on three. So three up. Good. Yep. And other one, three up. Yeah. Four, so that one sticks. Okay. Um, armor on there? Three. Or, or uh, just, she has armor? Oh, no, no, I'm, no I'm sorry. Yeah, that was toughness. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. No armor. I got, no I armor. Yep. So it's going to be two damage, so it's going to be two more rolls. Yeah. She's dead, finally. So my one that was injured, right? So the one on the right died. Yep. Oh. Oh, okay. And the oh. one on the left still mortally injured? Yeah. Uh, so no, this one died. Oh, that's my left side. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Oh, my bad. I'm but yeah, no, yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So that one died. We're gonna roll um, injury. Uh, orange die is the first one. Here we go. Thirty-five. That's, what's her name? Uh, you just killed Slingshot. Oh boy. You ain't ready. <laughs> Uh, that was crazy. Yep. Oh, and you knocked down the other one with the stiletto. So you knocked down Natasha. Okay, that's fine. Yep. No and I rolled a 35, which is just grievous injury, and it's just in recovery. So that means uh, when we do the recovery roll, now we have one fighter recovery at the end of the turn? Uh, no, no, something different. Uh, recovery is uh, for the lasting injuries, and that, that means um, at the end of the battle, they can't be in your next battle. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Gotcha. Uh, and that's just for recovery. Yeah, you probably that's so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to kind of read the play. Uh, I need to roll the ammo um, on that. <laughs> well, it's a six, so I, I guess I reloaded again. again. So that's a good Three grenades for you. Unbelievable, and I aim, so he's done, and that's it. Okay. So, sir. Jeez, okay. 
Uh, well, I'm done. I'm, I don't have any points left. I'm, I'm just, this okay, one's okay, tough I'm because this is this is close to 12 inches, you know, and I don't want to miss a shot, but I certainly don't want to run up and take it. So, <laughs> which uh, which uh, Well, I'm looking at this one. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, my death maiden over here does. Oh, uh, she's got a last gun, which is 24, right? Um, well, actually, I would. You could move and shoot her because the fact that I am. Almost certainly gonna read my one. The plasma pistol is more dangerous. That is the plasma you pistol. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, well, without, it, but it's only 12 without, inches as well, without, so she's without, definitely. I mean, I'd have to run up and get in there. Yep, but decisions, decisions, and Necromunda. And I don't want to put those guys yeah. too close because you've got another grenade, so. If um, unit has, oh, oh, I see. So yeah. units must wholly deploy within their deployment zone. Oh, goodness. I, you know what? Yes. I'm going to just try to take a shot again. Can, yeah. He can scout move. He has to. So if you aim, zone. it'll yes. take away oh, that penalty. Yeah, so it'll just be your regular. So Kai, uh, oh, oh I have to do the. A, no, you don't. My ethereal has you don't. Uh, master can you hit with the other profile? That one's 18 inches. No, I don't think so. We're close. I think that's 18. It's up to you. Oh, no, you know what? I'll go with oh, this. The worst thing oh. I do happens is I miss, right? Oh, better, that's real. better get in here, son. Who got oh, six? Good both of us. us. Yeah, we'll call it. Okay. Um, it's not uh, plus two. Right. That will be oh, minus one, you got, and you one. aim. So yeah, it's just your I got more. one d six. Right, so it's gonna go one. And what, two, what was the weapon three. skill yeah, on that later? This yeah, was yeah, the so needler. I uh, yeah, I you said the weapon uh, skill. Just yeah, there. So you, oh, plus so you hit. So my fight. So Scumdrum's hit. I'll roll to see if he falls after. <laughs> Scumdrum, I like that. That's awesome. His name is Scumdrum <laughs> Both Pump. Nice, nice. I'm gonna work on my whole thing next time. Names, it's a blast. I like it. I like it. All right, so that's good. You, you uh, hit. Now we're gonna roll the wound. So toxin works differently. Um, you're gonna roll a d6 against my toughness. And you need to roll. Uh, this guy. Your toughness is four, right? Four. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, yep, four. I'm just four. There it is. So now that's with the needler. Right? What's the AP? Uh, yeah, that was the needler. So AP is minus one. So a toxin, you do get a, a, a save roll. He had a five up to a six up. And Nothing. So the great part about toxin is you don't do damage. Now you're all injured. Okay. So now just roll all those suckers. Okay. So we will. Right, okay. So, so not horrible, but like, not. You take a wound. So, so you got he, what three left on him now? Well, he takes a flesh. So he still so got his wound. Oh, yeah. wounds and flesh wounds are different. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But he came down. So I need to roll against my initiative. See if I fall. And I'm gonna check yeah, so him real that quick. Uh, he's got a four. I will officially Caillou. So when that's a four. So he passed it. He didn't fall. But no, I can't. Good shooting. So then I'm stuck with my guy. So Toxins ding. One thing I'm scared of because it goes right through all your wounds and everything. It's <laughs> yeah. like, oh. all right. Uh, uh, so now do I roll ammo check uh, before we do anything else? And then, yes, you should ammo check that. Yeah, we should do that. Very good. Um, and you're fine. Very nice. All uh, right. For to kind of cower back and just see to well, until everything until like, hey, remember, so the greatest the greatest do it. Of all time. I'm gonna group up, up and shoot it, kill it, die. <laughs> um, <laughs> it does let us fucking melee. Massive fatigue real over here. Oh, I guess. I, 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 I do claim the. Alright, so are you done with your? I'm gonna move into cover. I redeploy. I just might be. I'm gonna take a bolt gun shot at 24. Oh, that's right. Um. I really, really yeah, yeah, no, I think partial that's it. Cover uh, so I'm blocked by the loot crate here. Okay. So, um, so it'll be minus. Keep track of bad points here. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I start with. Where are you at? Okay. I don't know so this is minus one, ballistic skill of a four up to a five up. I start, okay. so well, I start with two because of, uh, he has morals. Three, so I miss it, and I need to roll my ammo. You start with none, and then you start with two. And I pass yes. it. And I, then because uh, that's it. command pays, I go up to four. Man. Um, I get a lot of shooting and missing in the beginning of this. Yeah, yeah. The, the beginning of the campaigns are rough. <laughs> How many inches can this person move when you charge? So, um, he only moves four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Charge is double. Charges your movement plus a D3. So a max, I could go, I could go five to seven inches on charge. Okay, then I'm just very short. I'm gonna get within range. I know if I just get to the edge here, I can get that shot off. So I'll be within my 12 inches. So okay. I got a five-inch move on her. So we'll take that and I will shoot my uh, just allow. 
Jaws gun. Wait, hold okay. on. So, so, to bring in. so just to understand, um, this when is, I bring it in. It's this plus one. Yeah. For the guys for so the last gun, you don't yeah. need to move. But it. That's what I was telling you. Because uh, at 18 sorry. inches, you get plus one with the last gun. two litanies, basically. So he, okay. we go up to five commands. You get plus one at 18 inches? He's going to I thought, oh, uh, I thought you got plus one if it was out. Oh, so, so this is how this works. Anything under this, that number and under is this. Anything from this number to that number is your long range. You know what I messed up? I thought it was 12 inches. I didn't realize it was 18. That's what I meant. Yeah, I, I, I had it in my mind. Did you move her? Put her back. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, I was convinced her shot was 12 inches. I believe 18 inches will hit. Yeah. So I would just like to fight her then. Excellent. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah. so you're plus one, and I, did we say? It looks like I think it's a clear shot. Now. I can see yeah. the feet. I think that's a full yeah. shot. So give it, give it a plus one. So it'll be a three up. Oh, oh. goodness! But right, she can boys. move back I'm now. Sure if you hide in the corner, it's up to you. <laughs> or she can say where she is. Right. So I'm gonna keep her there okay. only because I don't want to get these guys too close yeah, because you do have another yeah, grenade, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, so, um, perfect. Then oh, she has been activated. Right. I will stand up. Uh, That's why Laz guns are so good. It's the 18 and the 24. Huh? Absolutely. Okay. And then there's something called uh, Hot Shot Laz Pack. It's 20 credits. It's a common item. You'll be able to buy after this. Yeah. It turns your Laz gun into a Strength 4 AP1, which is like a basically a real standard for this game. Nice. nice most people are going to have five up saves. So putting a five to a six up, they're not going to have a save. Yeah. Yeah. They said it's so, really tough early game with I mean, these girls, yeah, but if you can like survive, they've got good economy and you can I just kind played Escher in the last campaign that I ran. And, yeah. How'd you do? Oh, I was number one. No, it's just, no, it's no, they're just great. They're just fun. There's a lot of stuff I think you, you gotta change for them. Like we took out um, a couple items. I mentioned Jay because like you can put uh, an item on it where they can't be targeted the first three rounds, and then you end up moving like 21 inches. So you basically put your maidens and stuff on their head and attack them. It's not, it's not much fun for anybody else. Yeah, that doesn't sound like much. I, I was like, yeah, I don't play like that, but I wanted to see where you can take it. And Escher, yeah, they're awesome. No, it's no. Fucking chaos. Anyway, let me blab it. Um, I pulled oh, scum drum up. Uh, he's just oh, going to yeah, stand up. And I'm going to shoot a frag just right on her head. Frag I, so, uh, I hope it bounces <laughs> off that pipe. <laughs> uh, frag. So he's got a four up. It sticks. Uh, let's see. For the knockback, it does not. And this is to wound. It's just going to be uh, strength three. On three is a four up. One. So the only thing that happened to her is she's pinned. People at the table. So, so just put her on, uh, on her honest. back, okay. and yes. then I'm going to roll my ammo awesome. check for the frag grenade. Probably. Which is uh, great. great question. Get we'll out of ammo. I was going to say, we're about to roll. Potential. Roll three. So I'm out of ammo on my frag grenade. Now it's time to but I have the craft. Now. So. And you're up. All right. Um, it's like Old West. Yeah, you're not shooting him. Yeah. It's, it's really hard to not wall with mirrors immediately. You know, I feel like I'm just in a tough spot right now. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, we're gonna have uh, so we're so now I'm done moving. We're gonna go into the psychic phase. Um, that was great. Um, All right. So I'm just gonna as move. Successful psychic phase. Well, I'm gonna do something that's, that's dirty probably. Is that just a gamer? Uh, Yes. Okay, yep, so I'm going to do something dirty to you real quick. So, oh, so when you activate that fighter, I'm going to play Dangerous Footing. Okay. So it says, place a pitfall marker beneath the fighter. They have to make an initiative test. Okay. So we'll roll on her initiative. Really? So three up. Really? Yep, three yeah, up. That's good. Three. You passed it, so you're good. So what would have happened oh, is she'd fall in the pit and go out of action, but yeah. she didn't, oh, okay. which was awesome. Yeah. Nice job. Actually, All right, so yeah. I'm going to just... Perfect. So I think it gets it right to this this pole here. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to just... Uh, they used to have a lot more of those. Oh, wait. Uh, so yeah, you'll be in full view. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go there, and then my second move, I'm just going to move yeah. her out of the way here. Yeah, I can't see. Uh, see uh, okay, perfect. It only plays. All right. She's got... Does she have a knife right here? I mean, I get why Nope. That is... No, no, but they move into... I shot those two. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is marker lights. Okay, I'll move my guy in here. Two. Uh, we're going to fire... These are curtain. Do they get minus... Does he have no, minus motion? I want to get... I guess I'm gonna just gonna come up. No. Three. Excellent. Okay, so then we're okay. gonna fire. So I'm gonna there, and then I'm gonna move myself. No. I mean, I guess if I advance with him and draw him, he's just gonna hang yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah. So then we're gonna, or like, minus one, two, okay. three. Crawling. Oh, crawling and hiding. Not that I'm aware of. Um, obviously, the 
anybody behind this is going to be getting more recover benefits that If she turns, can she take a shot at this guy? It seems like, I mean, I can see him. Yeah, I think that would be a... I don't think there's anything blocking him on that one. Perfect. I'm going to turn and I'm just going to try to pop off a shot here. So plus one, definitely. Same way I was going to get. Oh, that's not going to roll. So then for shooting... No luck today. It was a three. No luck at all today. Okay. We will spend a command point. That's fine. All right. This guy will get so basically he will just get a, uh, wait, can I do that on him? This I should. Brandy. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, we'll do, first we're going to do, no. oh no, I can't do four. that. It's not a, it's not a battle suit unit, it's a jetpack unit. He has no jetpack, so. He's he going to attempt to take a shot. Um, um, she's got okay. 16 so inch range, over 8 is plus oh, 1, is, and she's in definitely dense. partial mm -hmm. cover, so it'll be plus 1, minus 1, so that puts me to yeah. my base um, shot, which is a 3 up. Taking the 3 up shot. It's a uh, five, so that hits. Um, and this is yeah, executioner yeah, yeah. ammo. So the first thing it's going to be strength four fire, on three, uh, which I need a three up. We're gonna fire and it's a two, the... so that's good. But she is pinned. So she falls on her back? Just, yep, just on her back. Cool. Which is good for her because when a fighter is pinned, you cannot shoot at them unless. Like, Four I was basically three, here now. Okay. So now they you have to be fully visible, right? If they're down? Yeah, so, I, so neither of these guys are going to be able to take a shot. Um, so he's done. He missed, but yeah. he tried. Progressive okay. should not be turn one. Yeah. Um, so I only have a... Uh, oh, no, I've got two activations. I've got my person who is still very much wounded and can't do much. So if I clutch on both of them, he will die. Dense cover. Most half of them have dense cover, probably. So, so potentially... Um, Oh wait, oh, no, 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 I, um, with this weapon, oh, actually, you know what, never mind, we're not going to do that because they're, because I can't see them, it's minus one to hit. So um, my death maiden was so here, we're gonna go, I just moved her uh, to the pipe, yep. and then right down here to get her, Everything actually this pipe here, I'm sorry, so I moved her from here to the pipe, and then just down there. Spending yep. for engine to make I like it. Alright, okay, uh, so, minus one damage so I can't everything. really do anything with these guys, so we're going to so go, with so we're just going to go, gun first. uh, eight with Xandor. No re rolls, I don't think. Well, I do get a re -rolls. Oh, just a double movement. Like somewhere right there. Okay, so that's Back to you, I don't know if you have hits. anyone left. Uh, um, I've got my person who's okay. down. So Can I stand as an action now with her? Or? So she's not seriously injured, right? Yep. So, yep, one action to stand, and then she can shoot. Yep. Um, okay, so the rail guns. Uh, now, does it count as measuring to see if I would have a shot here before I declare that? I can go down and look, or do I have You can to... look, just don't measure anything. Yeah. Yep. You can look. You can use the laser pointer. About Some people bring the laser pointer. I find it pretty unnecessary. So people are usually reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's hard to tell. I don't even think like, about it. usually in cover or yeah. full cover. Like, that's usually a good way to play it. Okay, I'm going to stand. Let me see if you reroll that. Got it. Uh, so that is. Uh, and I'm going to move. Uh, I'm just going to move her and tuck her over here so she's covered and kind of out of the way. That would be within five. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And a good thing about that, too, is um, if you're in cover against a blast weapon like a grenade or something, you'll get plus one to your save. Awesome. So. Okay. I think that was the best thing I could have done. Yep. No, very smart. Uh, last one I got is just this dude over here. He's just going to move eight. So, same thing. He's going to. Curl up um, right behind his buddy. Plus three. That's great. The first one is Oink. five. And you're activated out. That's it for me. All right. Unfortunately, I'm gonna play the power of the tactic cards. So I'm gonna play desperate effort. And it says when it's my turn to activate, but I have no fighters with ready markers. I can activate one of my fighters. So pick, pick my fighter. And activate them as well. Wait, they have wait, a ready if it's deep, but if I'm, I'm gonna go with the guy with the grenade again, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's real dirty. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I do have to D3 move him. So. Oh, okay. three six. No, no, no. But I'm saying th no, no, no. But I'm gonna this move three him because it's D three. This is not three. Forward, this is like I think. Two. Yeah, that's right. Oh, 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 I see what you mean. So, yeah, cool. so I don't have okay, a choice, but and, uh, I'm going to move him up, go then again. I'm going to huck that so grenade. One free damage. So two damage. Uh, yeah. He's good. Or, or yeah, three damage. Just, this okay. So it's basically on her head. As in this is uh, yeah. so the final good. throw here. The uh, uh, bonus moves that I got for my... My, uh, no aim, that's a four up. Oh, so I missed this time, so we haven't done this yet. So I centered it on her head. Uh, so then when you miss, you take a, a d6 and you take a um, scatter die. <laughs> now my direction's diagonal two, so it's still gonna hit her. But we'd say, actually, we should pull this in. I hit the death maiden, unfortunately. So this is the fun of grenades. So they bounce. So it was on her head, it moves two. Oh, so two inches and then blows up? Yeah, so, but you know what? 
Yeah. So unfortunately, well, I do for think we're going to catch up there with that. Fair enough. All right. Uh, and let's see if I'm yeah, finally out of ammo with that yeah, thing. Yeah, we get it. We get it. I'm glad you're recording this because it's amazing. I'm sorry. I literally was single-handedly destroyed by grenades. Okay. Uh, did you even shoot anything else or do anything else? No, I haven't done anything. This has never happened. I've, I've One tested guy. this gang, and I'm like, cool, cool, and so he usually just dies. That's all I want. All right. Uh, um, so I want these guys to go into okay. these guys. Okay, so we we'll pass the ammo, and we change. move to the grenade. So we'll start with the queen. Let's see if we get a knockback oh, on her. It's a six, so she just knocks back just this way. I didn't realize... And then this is to wound, this is a three up, that's a three, so this is an AP one, and then she had mesh armor, so a six up, save. These guys are going into this unit because with the shotguns they... And she takes two wounds, and she has two wounds, so I roll one injury. Okay, so the 20, And she's dead, unfortunately. And that gives me three points. That's your leader? Yep. Oh, that was my queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, this was the 20. So these guys I know that's it. Like mine are just labeled slightly different too. So that's like the thing that threw me off. I'm like, oh, oh everybody else has like gangers, and I'm, I got sisters. And <laughs> oh, is it? So is it your leader? Though? She. Uh, yeah, my queen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, that was oh, Jesus Kragos, and we're gonna roll her out of action. So uh, orange is the first number. So, uh, oh yeah. All right, we're not gonna. We'll we're we're gonna say it's recovery. Rules. This is too yeah. brutal. Uh, to say uh, bright recovery next turn. Okay, year. so that is. 17 that's, hits. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, very good. So another thing to remember for you is if you kill uh, a champ or a leader, you actually get two XP two, two, for the fight. Yeah, right. So, so you're up to three. Yeah, XP is super important. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So she died. There was nobody within three inches of her, and now we got to roll for the death maiden, unfortunately. Well, let me ask a question. At what sure. point is there like... Now, if I stay here, I'm going to get massacred and blown off the table. Is right. there a bug okay. the FO and... You can leave at any point in any game, and, and you can say, uh, you can just, just say, I'm just going to bottle out my fighters. And if you do that, it can be mid-game, it can be in the end phase, but what you need to do is then just make sure if anyone's engaged, yep. they need to roll an initiative check where they get attacked first. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you have any seriously injured fighters, you roll a D6, and on a 1 to 3, they take an injury, and on a 3 to 6, they're fine. Okay. So, well, you can yeah. bounce. Only only because I feel like if I stay in here, it's only going to cause my future games qu quite a bit of heartache. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so unfortunately, I, yep, I just got to yep. finish that and then we're done. Well, Sorry okay. about that. No worries. Hey, that's the game though. Like it's so that's for the knockback. Yep. So I would probably right. knock her in the wall. And okay. I'm looking for a three up. And it's a five. <laughs> it's a five. So she's got what, mesh as well. Yes. So my six up for her. Oh. For save roll. Fifteen. Four. And that's again two wounds. She's got uh, well, two, so it's just one injury. Uh, and she's just seriously injured. So, and also, I remember. So, so face down. Yeah. yeah. So now that I'm done, you can say yeah, I'm gonna bottle up. Is that what you want? Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, because it realistically, if I stay in this game any longer, it's only gonna make my future games harder, right? Yeah. Yep. Would you have quit last turn, do you think? Or, or not last turn, but I mean... Um, I don't want to be that guy like ends games early, but like I want to... No, you do yeah, end games early. Okay, okay, okay. No, uh, probably, because it's just ridiculous that I reloaded that grenade three times. Yeah. I, I mean, I rolled a six three times on it, so... If I hadn't, this would be a much different game. You wouldn't have the pressure, but again, this is why infiltrate is really important. That's the, the build, you know? You're going to be playing some people that are running four or five infiltrators at a time, so that's, wow. that's difficult. Okay. But no, I think you, this is wise, because like you said, what's going to happen right now? Yeah. And, and, and you also need to look at what was on your list. Like, you have mostly last guns left. You yeah. I have strength four fighters, so you're hitting me on five ups for the game. I have two wounds on all my dudes. Mm -hmm. yeah. My leader has four wounds. Yep. So. Smart. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Well, <laughs> hey, that was a game. You, I, <laughs> honestly, like, thank you so much for, for no walking me through my first game. And on, it was fun. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't mind getting so, glasses off the table. Yeah. It, I only have up to go from here, you know? Um, so Look, let me tell you this. Uh, I started hits. this game maybe three years uh, ago. Uh, I played it in my five. basement with a buddy for a year. Uh, stopped playing it. Came back wow. to it. I was in last year's campaign, and I got stomped. Nothing. Completely stomped. Yep. Uh, we played regular camp, uh, Dominion, which is where you have to fight for all your territories first. And I'm telling you, I got destroyed. But the second half, I came out, and I was number three out of, like, 15 people. Wow. This game can change completely in just a couple games. Yeah. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, you can see that I was clearly blown off the table by grenades. But it was okay, because honestly, Bo made my first time playing Necromunda or any Warhammer game ever completely enjoyable. One of the reasons I think a lot of people are scared to step their foot into something like this is because it can be very rules intensive. But as you can see by the way I just played with Bo and got through that game, 
you don't need to know all the rules. The people that do will help you. And the game at the end of the day is really just about having fun. So I hope this video did a good job of showing that. And I hope it motivates you to step outside of your comfort zone, head down to your local game store and start playing a game. Until then, stay safe.